Spotify to SoundCloud. Let's get to it. SoundCloud is more used for remixes and unofficial music for artists that are just getting into that kind of line of work, so upload their own music at home and kind of develop from there. For example, I have my own SoundCloud account, you can go check out in the description below. Basically all there I do is I convert normal songs into album legit monk remixes and add a few drum beats every now and again. From that I've earned 40,000 views, well plays, uh, 9 followers, 55 songs and 6.1k downloads. But no money, so only certain people get money from SoundCloud, they're the official people who get selected or chosen to actually work and earn money from. Also on SoundCloud you can make your own playlists and radio, so you can add songs to a massive playlist for all your friends to listen to. And that's normally used people who want to show off their taste in music and see what people think about it. Which you can also do on Spotify, so it's not a big deal. Spotify is more used for original songs from the original artist, uploading it to the website to earn money from themselves. I think last year they earned they raised 2.9 billion for the actual composers of the music, which is a lot of money for that industry. Currently I have 52 songs downloaded onto my offline account on my Spotify premium account. So I can listen to it offline instead of like on the Wi-Fi all the time, which is great as, you know, SoundCloud doesn't include that feature, it just wastes up your data. Yeah, a premium account costs money, I know it's quite a lot, but it's a lot cheaper than buying the actual songs and buying the extra storage space on my laptop to store them, so in the long run it's cheaper. The thing I like the most about Spotify is the design and layout, it looks great, like if you go on the app or the Windows PC version and check it out, it does look pretty good compared to SoundCloud. Uh, first of all, I like the logo, it does look pretty sick, the way it's all like sound waves sort of with the Spotify logo at the bottom looks really good. The control buttons that are on the screen aren't too close together or too far apart so I can easily press them without having to stretch or press the wrong button for instance, it's a really good setup going on with Spotify. Also when you go to the next song, you want to go to the next track, you can just swipe across the thumbnail of the artwork of the song and it plays the next song which I think is sick. If I'm being honest, I do like the sound wave effect that they have on SoundCloud where you can see the actual sound waves, but they're not real, they're just guess and estimate, but the timed comments that come along with that where you can see each comment at each part of the song, I think it's a great idea, but I don't think they're as popular as they used to be, or I don't even know if SoundCloud features that anymore, so, yeah. To see what all you guys thought about Spotify and SoundCloud, I went on my Ask FM and asked 50 people what they thought about it, and it turned out that a lot of people use SoundCloud a lot more than Spotify. Look at the results, I tallied them all up, and 24 people used SoundCloud. That's a lot of people out of 50. 16 used Spotify, and then 10 just didn't use either, which was quite surprising, but still. 24 for SoundCloud implies that a lot more people use it as it's free, and the music's a bit more upbeat and fresh than Spotify. When I checked out each profile for people who answered, the SoundCloud people seemed regular, decent people, you know, probably not like people like choose to go around with and the Spotify people seem to be like kind of the rich, spoiled kids that the parents probably paid for their premium account, which I did not say I earned it from YouTube, but yeah. And then the neither people are kind of people who'd have like, I don't know, they're either jailbreakers like me, so they didn't install their own music and download it free or illegally. So that's what they kind of people were. Or they just bought it off iTunes. They were like really spoiled people who were a bit not spoiled, but stupid and spoiled at the same time, so they got the dads to pay the money off iTunes, that kind of thing. It's stereotypical, but still, that's the results, so SoundCloud won. So, quick facts, uh, Spotify was released in 2006, whereas SoundCloud was released in 2007. Uh, SoundCloud's more of a Swedish company, I think it was created in Stockholm and established in Berlin, I think, in 2008. So yeah, it's quite interesting, the history of it, I guess. That's the means that SoundCloud is in more views and more listeners in less time than Spotify did, and that's pretty impressive, to be fair. SoundCloud is also the second biggest music streaming service on the internet. Uh, YouTube is in front of that in first place, so it's quite interesting, and Spotify is a bit further down than that. Also, SoundCloud won an award, it's called the Scroders or Stroders Innovation Award from 2011, so that's something you didn't know. In terms of the actual sound quality, which is the whole point of both services, I think Spotify, depending on the artist, sounds better on extreme settings as you get the better pitches and the lows and the highs, that kind of thing and the bass on each song sounds pretty good I tried this with a few songs and I did find that Spotify was a lot better compared to it but 
I think this is because on SoundCloud, when people make their own music at home and they upload it, they don't have the best quality generators of sound going on, so they don't have the most expensive equipment to afford that kind of thing to make the music, if that makes sense. Whereas people on Spotify, because they're professionals, they have enough money to make better music, better quality, so yeah. Jumping onto a Windows PC, uh, especially on a Windows 7 and lower, you do find that SoundCloud can only be viewed on the internet browser itself, but you can't get a separate software, whereas Spotify can. On new Windows 8 PCs, you can get like an application in the Windows Store to go on Spotify, SoundCloud even, so that's pretty good. Whereas Spotify has its own little installation program, which looks very nice and has the same features as the iOS app, I guess. Spotify can also be used as an install program on Mac, and on both OS they do look very nice, and it is quite a good program to try out. I think if you don't have a Spotify premium account, you should still try that anyway. And if you're on a Windows 8 PC, do, look, do download that SoundCloud little extension app for the Windows 8 PC as it is a very good one if you're going to use SoundCloud. So as I said before, with a premium account on Spotify, you can save songs. Now, I don't know how much you can save. So far, I've saved 52, no problem. So it's quite quick to download and you can listen to it later when you're out and about walking around. SoundCloud does not have this feature, so if you're on Wi-Fi, you can listen to it on 3G as well. But for those without unlimited data, you are screwed as it will eat that up really nice and quick. So overall, I think that even though I use both SoundCloud and Spotify, Spotify does win as the premium features and all that extra stuff is a lot better than it does in SoundCloud. So yeah, check out the description below to find out my favourite songs on SoundCloud and Spotify, and also find my Spot SoundCloud account as well. So. Yeah, if you have any questions, comment below and I'll try and reply. Have your own opinion, leave them below as well and I'll get back to you on that. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment below with any feedback or some that. Please share this video as well so we can get a lot more views that are helpful, will help me a lot. To see more, hit that subscribe button and I'll probably see you in the next one. Enjoy your music.